Hi guys, this is Kelsey from The Lost Book Reports, and this is the Monday edition, or the late edition of In My Mailbox, which is hosted normally every, well, it is hosted every Sunday by The Story Siren. Mine is just a little late because I went to the Festival of Books, the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books this weekend. Before I get to that, though, I got one book this week and one ebook this week. The first, the book that I got was The Long Way Home by Karen the Question. And this is about um, a woman whose boyfriend, longtime boyfriend, passes away, and the son that his son, who she basically has raised, goes off and lives with his mother in Las Vegas through a group, like a therapy grieving group that um, she's in. She meets a whole bunch of girls and they go on a road trip to go see her pretty much stepson. So this book is by Karen McQuestion and she asked if I would like to review it because I've reviewed many of her other books and I absolutely adore her and her writing. It's amazing. The books that I have um, read and reviewed are A Scattered Life, Celia and the Fairies, and Favorite. She also has Easily Amused, Life on Hold, and Secrets of the Magic Ring. I'm already like 100 pages into this book and I'm really enjoying it. She's such a great writer. I really recommend you guys go get this book when it comes out on May 1st. Oh, and she signed the... She signed it on the inside. Then the other book I got, which was an ebook through NetGalley, thank you very much, NetGalley, and through, I believe it's Harle Harlequin, uh, I received The Girl in the Clockwork Collar, which is the second in the Steampunk Chronicles by Caddy Cross, the first book being The Girl in the Steel Corset. I've already finished reading it. It comes out May 12th, and I already loved. The Girl in the Steel Corset. It's one of my by far favorite books. So I was elated to begin that book. Really, really good. My review is going to be out soon. Definitely worth getting. So uh, this weekend, like I said, I went to the Festival of Books and it's a Saturday and Sunday event. Saturday, I had planned to go to uh, two panels. My fiance and my mother so kindly attended with me, and I went and I saw John Green be interviewed by Lev, Lev Grossman, and then I saw Libba Bray and Pete Hotman, Hotman, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, speak on writing and YA. Oh my gosh. So let's start off with how, first of all, this was my first book event ever, 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 ever. I have not gone to, I mean, I've been to like some, but this was like my first one where I, the authors were speaking and they got to sign my books and it was just an overall great experience. It's not something that happens very often down here in Southern California. So I was beyond geeking out, fangirling, like biggest smile on my face, just happy to be there. So the first uh, panel I went to was Lev Grossman, who's also an author and a Los Angeles Times reviewer. Uh, interviewing John Green. If you don't know who John Green is, he's written An Abundance of Catherines, Looking for Alaska, The Fault in Our Stars, which is his most recent one, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, uh, I can't think of anything else, Paper Towns, and honestly haven't read any of his books, have not read a John Green book at all, so to be going to his panel was more of um, First of all, word of mouth of how great his books are, and watching his uh, the Vlog Brothers channel on YouTube, which if you have not gone and seen it, I check. I highly recommend you go check it out. Hilarious. So uh, Brandon and I, my fiance, and I went and we listened in on that panel, and John Green was great. He was hilarious, and fully enjoyed that since I didn't have any John Green books, I didn't get a signing, and then. From there, we went all the way um, across campus, because it was hosted at US USC, to go see uh, Libba Bray and 
P. Hotman speak about writing in YA. And that was that was definitely an experience that I will never, ever, ever, ever forget. Uh, both Pete and Libba are hilarious, but if anyone has... It, well, if you know of Libba in general, you know that she is... She's just insane. She is hilariously funny, sweet, insane. And then her and Pete working off each other was great as well. I mean, what was great was having my mom and my fiancé right next to me who have no idea who these two authors are and they're sitting there cracking up because they're just so funny I, I can't even begin like at one point um, before the panel had started I had looked over at I was taking pictures of Libba Bray and Pete Hotman and I was I was only in the third row and on the like directly in front of in the aisle directly in front of Libba and she noticed I was taking pictures of her, and she goes, oh, you're taking pictures of me? And she just starts doing these crazy funny poses, and of course, I only had my fiancé's phone, which when you click it, it goes, do you want to save? And I'm not used to that, so I'm like clicking, 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 and I only got one photo of her million poses. But, um, hilariously great panel, great woman, great man as well, Pete Hotman. I haven't read any of his books, but I put them all on my list, and I actually got one at the library this week. So then, sorry, I'm making this so long. So then, after that, I got my book signed by her. She, I got Rebel Angels, which is book two in the Gemma Doyle trilogy, signed by her, and she is so sweet. I got a picture with her, too, and then, um, that was it for my first day at the Festival of Books. I was so excited, lived up to everything I wanted to live up to. So I was a little sad when that night I started not feeling well. I kind of have not been feeling well all week. I was in a little pain actually at the um, Los Angeles Festival of Books. And so that night I was not doing well at all. I mean, I was, I was on the verge of considering hospital. And so my fiance gave me some Vicodin, passed out when the next day arrived, I was still in pain and so tired from the Vicodin. I didn't go to day two of um, the Festival of Books, and I'm really sad because I was set to see, I had tickets for the panels to see Bethany Frankel speak, to see Betty White speak, to see Maureen Johnson speak, Maggie Steinwater speak, Melissa De La Cruz, um, Seth, I can't think of his name right now, uh, he wrote Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I was up to see all of them. And I was going to get my book signed because I had books by them by them. Books signed by them because I have books by them. So excited. And I didn't get to go. On the bright side, tonight, Monday, there is um, an actually a signing at the, my local library by Maggie Seinwater. And I'm going to bring my book and... Uh, Hopefully, yeah, that would be great. But I'm really bummed that I didn't get to see all the other authors whose books I absolutely adore. But yesterday, when I was feeling a little better, um, Sunday when I was feeling better, my fiancé took me to the library, and after paying a very hefty late books fee, I was able to actually, I haven't been to the library since July. A, because I don't have a car anymore, and B, because I didn't want to pay the fine. <laughs> but I wanted to see if they had any of the new books from these authors that I haven't read yet, and to my luck, for the most part, they did. So I went a little book crazy while I was at the library. You guys ready? I'm going to start off with the books from the authors I saw, and then I'll go on. So, oh, okay. So, um, this is Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Lefiadon. I always am going to say that name wrong. And actually, David was at um, the panel for Libba Bray and Pete Hotman. Yeah, he was there. He's actually sitting in the row, same row as me, just a seat over. And I wasn't sure if it was him. Like, I I saw Libba like refer to him and point in that direction, but I wasn't sure if that was just maybe <laughs> just, uh, you know, like, She's referring and in the general area, and like, but he was there. Um, if I had really paid attention, I would have totally gotten a pick with him as well. 
Um, cause I heard, I hear he's through it. I haven't read anything of his either. Oh no, I have to sneeze. I'll work through it. <coughs> I lied. Couldn't work through it. I'm very sorry, you guys. Okay. Uh, Beauty Queens by Love Ray. Uh, this is about a bunch of girls, beauty queens, who this plane crashes on an island and it becomes a fight for the death. Rash by Pete Hotman. This is not the book that, um, they didn't have the book that I wanted to read by him, which is The Big Crunch, but they had a whole bunch of these, like, kind of weird, crazy books by him that were YA. I, be I believe they're kind of like mystery type books. He said that's what he also used to write. Um, so it'll be interesting. I can't wait to read one of his books. The next one is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, his most recent book. book that everyone says is going to make me cry. I'm kind of looking forward to it. And then these are books that I just had to grab while I was at the library. Uncommon Criminals by Allie Carter, book two in her series. The first one is High Society, which I really, really love. She also has the Gallagher Girl series. Um, I'm so excited. I want to own this book really bad, but I can't wait to read and catch up with what Kat and the gang are doing. Red Glove by Holly Black, which is book two in her series. Uh, the first book is White Cat. And then... City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and this is book one in the Mortal Instrument series. I have not, I've heard a lot about, read things about this book, but I've not read anything about this book. So, yeah. That is all, you guys. Um, so, yeah. Have a great weekend. Sorry this video is so long.